properties of a square? What makes it so equal? And how can we construct one? Let's take a look. This is a square. As you can see, a square has four sides and it has four angles. Each one of these angles is a right angle, which means that it measures 90 degrees. In fact, all four of these angles measure 90 degrees. So that means that all the interior angles of a square have the same measurement, or they are all equal. But what about the sides? All four sides of a square also have the same measurement, which means that this side, this side, this side, and this side are all equal or have the same measurement in length. Now, let's use the properties of a square and let's draw one using a compass. Let's construct a square that has side lengths of six inches. So we can start by making a line segment that measures six inches in length. Let's make two points on either end of this line segment. And let's label them as point B and point C. Now, taking our ruler, we can make a dotted line on either side, extending our line segment. Now, let's take our compass. We can take any measurement on our compass. For this case, Let's take a measurement that is around two inches. Placing the leg of the compass on point B, let's make an arc. As you can see, this arc intersects at two different points. Now, if we were to continue this arc, it would make a circle that would have an angle measurement of 360 degrees. But since this arc is only half of a circle, it has an angle measurement of only 180 degrees. Since we want to make this side of a square, we would have to bisect this 180 degree angle. So let's do that. Taking our compass, take a measurement that is more than half of this length. We can place it on this point where the arc meets the line segment and make another arc. Taking the same measurement on our compass, place it on this point and make another arc. As you can see, these two arcs intersected at a point. We can
can connect them and extend to make this side of our square. Now, let's do the same for point C. Again, we can put our compass at a measurement of around two inches. Placing the leg of the compass on point C, let's make an arc. As you can see, this arc also intersects at two points. In order to bisect this angle, we can take the measurement on our compass that is more than half of this length. Placing the leg of the compass on this point, make an arc. Keeping the same measurement on our compass, place the leg on this point, making another arc. Again, these two arcs intersected at a point. We can connect this point to point C and extend it. Now, taking the compass, extend it so that it is the same length as line segment BC. Place the leg of the compass on point C and make an arc that intersects this side of the square. Similarly, with the same measurement on the compass, place the leg of the compass on point B and make another arc. These arcs intersected the line segments at two points. And finally, to finish constructing our square, we can connect these two points to get the last side of the square. We can label these points as A and D, which gives us square A, B, C, D. In square A, B, C, D, all the angles measure 90 degrees. and all sides of the square are equal, as they all measure six inches in length. 